Hey yo, welcome back to another video guys. It's your boy Seth TV and today I'm out at this pond. It's an urban pond, like it's it's humongous. It goes way out over there. And I came out, I was out here shopping yesterday. I'm at downtown at the gardens and there's just, I never knew this was here. And this is honestly crazy. So I'm shopping and I see this guy and I'm like, whoa, there must be bass in here. And I see this guy fishing, They're like he throwing like this big popper. And he says he comes out here all the time and he just catches like absolute toads. But that's at the other side of the lake. I got dropped up here, and this is really shallow. I can really see the bottom from over here. Like, I can see the bottom. So I have a little popper tied on, and I got my GoPro. So let's switch over to the GoPro and throw some top water. Guys, I actually don't know if I'm actually going to waste my time right here because it's literally that shallow. Yeah, I'm not wasting my time right here. There's literally no point. Like, I'm serious. Like, it's really that shallow. Guys, I literally saw, while I was here yesterday, I really saw like a four or five pounder literally just chilling on the edge of this thing. So this place is so very, this, this part is very shallow, but over to the north side of it, it's super, super deep. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm throwing a, don't remember what's really, it's like a, some 3D lure. It's called a Yolkziri 3DB. I'll link that down in the description just so you guys like, just so you guys know what it is. It's not hot out today, really. But it's out because it's only like 7 30 in the morning. I got up early to try to get on a top water bite. Because the guy here that I met yesterday, he said um, that it's like all, the top water bite here is always very, very good. And I think I saw a couple peacock in here too. And there's guys, and also till today when the top water bite dies, I'm going to be throwing a lot of bluegill. Um, type of colors because I saw literally monster bluegills like a huge pack of bluegill uh, right on this ledge over here that I'm about to walk to oh tree tree let me walk to this other side and there's like literally bridges in the middle of this so that's pretty cool Let's see if there's any fish on this bank Oh, oh, we got it. Oh, he has it. Oops. There's the first fish of the day. Nice little bass. That's a good one. It's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, and this guy said there's a lot of... Oh, no, 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 don't. No, come on. Come on. Get out of there. No, get from under this bridge. Get from under this bridge. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one, guys. How am I supposed to land him? Okay, let me try to land him. Okay. Stay out of there. No, get out of there. Okay, let me try to land this guy. Stay, stay from under that bridge, okay. This is, I cannot flip him, he's way too big. So this guy said there's a, oh, I hooked it. I don't, oh, he might get off. I think he might actually get off. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh pull him through. Okay, so he's right here, okay. Okay, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, please stay right here. He's barely hooked. I'm gonna set my rod right here. Hopefully he doesn't take off. Okay. Okay, here he is. Okay, he's like a nice, oh, I have stuff all in my face. He's a nice little two pounder, like probably like five minutes into fishing. Wow, that's a nice fish. He's literally like barely hooked. Oh, that's a nice fish. Uh, he was hooked pretty good. Let's let this guy go. That's a good, good fish right here. That's like a solid, maybe. That's like a solid two. He's chubbed. Oh my gosh, look at his lip. He's been caught before, that's for sure. All right, see ya, buddy. Oh, he thought he was still hooked. Let's see if he jumps again. No, he might not. Okay. Let me get back up there, because... That was a pretty good fish, guys. It's five minutes, in, like, not even five minutes into fishing. Let's 
Let's see if we can get another one over here. And that I got that bite when I started moving it quicker too. Uh oh, there's wakes right over near my bait. Let's see if there's any more over here. My glasses are literally getting fogged up like every cast. That was so weird because I did not know I had a fish because I can't because it's hard to see because of the glare of the sun. It's in like my right eye and my glasses keep, oh, wait, oh, that was weird. My glasses keep fogging up. So it was hard to tell that that fish was there. Oh, what does this say? Does this say no fishing? Let's see. Let's see what this sign has to say. Being, so this is an irrigation. So it's like a little irrigation thingy, Bobber. So, yeah. Do not drink. It says do not drink and do not swim. I mean, I don't think anyone's stupid enough to do any of those things. Oop, that was a terrible cast. Whoa, there's like a huge flat over here. Yo, what the heck? There's like a giant flat over there. Like, I, there's like a piece of cement, I think. And it's just flat, and it doesn't, it's not that far underwater, too. It's probably only like a foot underwater. That's so weird. There's definitely fish on that little drop off. Oh gosh. That's crazy. That is so weird. I, I, I don't know if that's, it might just be how the sun's hitting the water. I, oh, never mind. I think it's just the, I think it's just the, what's it called? I think it just might be the sun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just the sun. Where, do you, where are these fish at? Ugh. That's the little guy that wanted a part of my lure. He's a little hungry. Why is the bank so shallow? It's crazy. Here we go. No trees, so I'll be able to cast over there. There's like a tree hanging in the water. That was okay. I want to try to get it right on top of a bass's head in there. We work it slow. Got one. Oh. I wasn't even a oh, small guy. I told you there's a fish right here. He's digging. Oh my gosh. It's like, it looks like dead weight. Okay, buddy. Oh my gosh, look at this bass. He looks so weird. Whoa, oops, okay. Oh my gosh, what is up with these bass? Oh my, I'm not even gonna touch this guy. I'm so sorry. Oh my, look how deformed he is. That's scary. Okay, go back in the water. I'm not even gonna touch it. Oh my gosh, he looks like a crappie. Go buddy, go, go, go. There he goes, okay. That's pre that's weird. That same bass I caught. I don't know if they're spraying pesticides that are like messing with these bass. But again, that bass is like literally missing its half of its like lip. Every time I, they're always hitting it when I stop it. That's weird. Whenever I'm not looking, I get I get hit. Oh my gosh, guys, that bass. That was probably like a one, maybe like a tiny, a little bit over one. It is probably most likely over. So decided to switch up to a Texas rig worm see if they want any of that because I mean how could they even resist the Texas rig worm and I really just want to throw one because I'm bored because they're very fun to throw and you just hear that when you hear them just go doo, 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 doo. so fun oh it's so hot let me drink some water it's not even really that hot it's just it's so humid I might switch uh, or I might, I don't know what I want to throw. I really want to throw this crankbait, but I think the water's too small, like too shallow. This, because it's a perfect bluegill pattern. If not that, I'm going to throw this giant, I'm going to throw the 3D Savage Gear 3D bluegill, because all the bluegill in here look just like this. So I think I might throw that after I throw the Texas Rig Worm. Yeah, I'm going to that after the Texas Rig Worm, because I want to see what they want. Got the Texas rig worm tied on. Oops. It's 
okay guys so I'm gonna wrap the video up right here it is honestly so hot out I tried getting out here early before the sun but it's only like 10 o'clock right now I've only been here for two hours and this is probably one of the most difficult places I've ever fished before like it's so you can't throw anything but top water in here and the top water bite is already gone it's already down because I was getting a whole bunch of bites in the morning time but now it's literally way too hot it's only it's 10 o'clock guys it's 10 o'clock And it's 90 degrees out at 10 o'clock in the morning. 90. It is so hot. I, I'm like, I'm sweating so bad. Like, I cannot do this. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and all that. Hit the like button. You know, we'll, we'll do all that crap. And, uh, just thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching to the end. Because I know a lot of you guys don't do that. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time.